Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here on a happy Friday the 13th. <laughs> It's a good luck day because today you can enter over at the Koala Studios website to have one of these marvelous chairs like I use. These are so fabulous. See, they've got a swivel, they've got a place for your foot, they go up and down. They're awesome. They come in several different colors and today through the end of the month, Koala Studios is got an entry form for you to fill out because you could get one of these from them uh, just for my followers isn't that awesome i love them so there you go that is down below and is over at my website today so on friday the 13th you are the lucky one uh, and i'm going to mention this quite a few times during the month because it goes all the way till may 31st that you have a chance to enter so there you go now today i want to go and finish up all of the stuff that I had on this back that I hadn't gone through on yesterday's video to show you how I break down projects that are ending, all the fabrics that are used, what I do with them, how do I think through where I want to have them and how I want to use them in going forward or not, maybe not use them. So we'll do that on the other side here. And let's see, I had a book nook on the uh, calendar today. We will move that till tomorrow. Okay. The other thing I've been telling you, I've been talking about it, is that the Ladybird fabric, that is this really pretty fabric, and I had to put, I have to look at the border. Ah, oh, it'll get me motivated. I'm going to do an Oh My Stars. I'm going to actually start putting these up very soon because they don't take long to make the Oh My Stars, and I'm going to make that just as sort of an in-between project because I would love to hang this on my in my hallway. I just love the fabric, and ah, oh, so, so pretty, right? Look at that. It looks so summery. Look, look how gorgeous. Yeah. Whoop. So I have the, I think, I think this will probably be the stars. And then I have this for like, and I think maybe, I don't know, binding, who knows. I got enough of it to figure out and play with. So I have the two charm packs and that is what I'll be doing. So now let's go and see what I did with the two rolling carts and then address those three piles. So everything is in here now. I just pulled them both over together. So I kept the Midnight Moon up here. The second one are projects. So there's two projects. One is this sister bay that I want to figure out something to do with. And then the panel and under the panel is the unicorn pattern. Here are things that I need to show you in the future. So that is what is in this basket. Now I did make a change over here. So I did have all the cross stitch stuff in the top without a basket. And Barbara, who is one of our um, wonderful ambassadors here at the group and on the live, suggested that I move it to the second bin so that I could go ahead and put the uh, cross stitch um, buddy system here, this wonderful thing that I've been using. Oh, I put a magnet on there. So that's on top. So that can just sit on top. And then here is the project. Oh, I should fold that nicer. And the two baskets with um, all the different stuff because this thing is super lightweight. It is very, very lightweight. And also I like this idea because it's not so messy. When it was up here, I always just felt like it was visually very messy. So instead I have up here two projects. This is the one that we're talking about today for uh, and, um, the Lady Bird uh, with an Oh My Stars. And this is the other one that I showed you that I want to cut up to sew with other things. Then on the bottom row, bottom shelf rather, is a basket with these are cross stitch things some of the stuff i need to show you uh, there's not a lot in here but i gotta go through that so this was very successful now now we're going to go look at what i did with all those piles from projects that were done now let's go through those three real life projects that are either done or wrapping up and what am i going to do with the parts that are left from it so first let me just tell you that uh, this question came from melissa because she was just like you know what do you do with this stuff when it's over now i'm going to tell you how i think about it and then i'll tell you a little bit about how you might think about it if you think about it differently than me so let's see how this goes <laughs> so for me when i finish a quilt 
most of the time I am pretty much done with all that fabric. I don't really want to use it again. I'm not interested in it. Uh, so I'm going to approach this in that way first off, but I will give you some thoughts about how to, to uh, think about it if you um, are not in that same place, if that isn't how you usually think about your fabric. So there are three of them. Let's start with the one that is totally done. Okay, so we have the, the jelly sizzle that I did with the coffee fabrics. So I'd also done the whole panel, quilted the panel with the coffee fabric. And I have, um, you know, some fabrics left. So here, here it is. So I have like the coffee bean and I'm not, this is like a leftover piece from, I don't know, from, it's not from the panel. I think, oh, I think it was just uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know how I got that. Um, <laughs> Good grief. And then there were actually placemats, and I haven't done those yet. Then, like I said the other day, there was the two great big, two bigger pieces. Well, this one's not that big, but this is the coffee cups on teal, and I know I want to make a pillow out of that. So actually, because I want to make a pillow out of that, this should go with a project. This should become a project now. This I'm going to keep for a backing, for something in the future. So this is a backing. So these two definitely have homes. Then I have to decide, do I want to make the placemats? That's another project. So all three of these are projects. This beans, the beans I think can either be a binding or something with one of those projects. So there. So that, these are all, this is project. So I'm going to put that over here. Now I'm left with other stuff. First is the table runner I did with the cutoffs. And what am I going to do with this? I think I'm going to just uh, gift it off to my friend and her group that will make things. And so I'm not sure I'm going to keep it, but I haven't quite decided. So I'm going to put that on the project, on the project pile. So that leaves this, uh, like a fat quarter and this guy here. So the black and white, I could say that's um, kind of universal. I could keep this in my black and white. So, you know, honestly, right now I have a lot of black and white, so I might Look, a lot of white, a lot of black with white, like this. You know, a lot of these options. So what I might do is look in that bin and replace it. Like put this is in because and see if there's one I like less and re, and give that away. And this one, I may decide to give away. I mean, I'm thinking I have enough of the others. These these guys are all the sort of strips. Plus I had some other strips. Where is that? Okay, so I had in here those other strips that I showed you here. That was off the jelly roll from the jelly sizzle. So they went in my strip box, which I told you was totally full. Like I can get a little bit more in there, Ugh, but not much. So these ones will go in the scrap bag. So this is the scrap bag, which is a giveaway bag. And I last time I took three months to fill it. I'm I'm like Okay, we're like barely into the second month of these three months and it is pretty darn full. So it may not get much more in it. So these are, this is to keep for thinking about for more stuff. Uh, and these two, I know I need to go in the bin and get rid of that. And I'm probably just going to go ahead and gift this one off to my friend. So put that down there. So that took care of that project. Now, Let's take a look. Let's take a look at an easy one first. <laughs> this is the project for um, the Ukraine quilt, so the blue and yellow quilt. And I have some white fabric I used. I have one extra block. So that extra block is going to go in. It, it may go in. Make be part of the pillow that I'm going to make. So I'm going to keep that here. The white goes back in the white fabrics. Uh, then there's, let's, let's not address the little stuff. So there's little stuff. That's all this. Let's put this to the side. These are a little bit bigger pieces, all of these. And here's the backing, unless I use the minky. So I also have minky to do for backing. Uh, so let's put that with here. Now I need to do the pillowcase. The pillowcase will probably, and I need to cut the binding. So I'm going to cut binding from this for the final quilt. So I need to leave that there. Now the pillowcase... I don't know that I have any of this blues that are big enough for the pillowcase, but the yellow is. I believe there's enough of this yellow. Yeah, so if I do the yellow with um, one of the other blues, I need to read the pattern, like the pillowcase pattern, and get that fabric. Then the rest of it, I think I will gift away because there won't be that much left. I don't think I need these shades. So that is what will go on here. 
let me put the white in here so I know what's going on between them. And now I have these things. So I could decide, I could look in my two and a half inch square bin. Is that this? Here's one. So here's a bin with the two and a half inch squares. Uh, do I need any of these colors? Like some of these yellows, I could cut up some more yellow uh, and put it in here. I have just one stack of yellow. I could cut up some of the yellow. I could have cut up some of the other ones. I could run them through the die cut machine and sort of make quick work of that. Or I could just decide to put it all in here so that it goes, goes to somebody else who would use them. So I'll take a look at this and determine how much of it do I really want to cut up. <clears throat> okay, that comes to the last one, which is Sweet Dreams. So I still have work on the Ukraine because we're going to do the pillowcase. I need to do, do the binding and it'll be sent away. So it's that can slim down though. Then the last one here is the uh, Sweet Dreams. So the Sweet Dreams top, I'm doing the, the um, blast border and then I have I have extra of this, so this will go like the white. It'll go in my cream uh, background fabric stuff, because I think I'll keep it for a little while. Then I have small pieces, smaller pieces, and I haven't really sorted this yet. But what I would do, so, is go ahead and go through it and get like this, get like this stack. Get all the ones that I consider smaller pieces together, and ones that are a little bit bigger, go in the other stack like there's a small one because some of these got reduced down qu quite a bit there isn't actually a ton of it left uh, so they are they are pretty small pieces like this that's what I consider small see that's all there is of this and then once again once I have this whole stack of what's smaller I will decide if I want to cut them up into the two and a half inch squares so they would go in these bins. And remember now, I only have so many of these bins and I, I can always use more lights because I alternate everything with lights. So the white things are probably all, white based are probably all candidates to get cut up so that I can have them for future. Now my binding for Sweet Dreams is going to be this because that's what I have enough of. Uh, that answers that question. Uh, but I also have like a little piece of it and probably pretty much after binding, I won't need this anymore. So I'm gonna put those on there. So I've got the binding and that will save off. So that leaves me with this stack, which are uh, more usable pieces. They're a little bit bigger pieces. Then I have to decide how much of this will I keep? You know, do I need these? Uh, they're a particular look that I do have a lot of fabrics that have kind of this look and I so sometimes keep them somewhat together uh, because they play, like they work a bit better than going like with these. Like these two together are not really, um, you know, stylized uh, that great together. <laughs> so I sort of keep this um, sort of more, a little bit more vintagey look, if you might say. I always call it like the French general look together. So that is, more than likely I will keep some of these. I need to go look at what I have going on because I don't use these as much versus keeping the extras from here. Um, what was it over here? Yeah, keeping, keeping these. Uh, after I make the pillowcase, I really don't. I have a lot of fabrics that are really similar. So I don't really need to keep that stack. That's how my brain is working on that. Okay, so that leaves me with a stack to, of these, which will probably be put away. Uh, these two stacks, which will probably be a little bit of it cut up and then gifted. And then once I get to the, um, to the pillowcase, figure out which, what I have enough fabric up of, uh, the rest of those will also be gifted off to my friend. And my friend who takes everything, Susan, she has different organizations she works with who can use fabric and they make charity quilts and they make other uh, like uh, days for girls that make sanitary pads uh, that they send away for countries that um, and where people are, or places in the U.S. where girls just don't have the money to get it. Um, so these are the kind of things that happen. Now I do have to go through the coffee stuff here and uh, make these project bags if I'm really going to do them. So that's the other thing. 
Now, how would you think about this if you are not tired of the fabric? That would mean if you're not tired of the fabric, you have this stack and this stack kind of waiting for you. What do you do with it? What would be your options? If you want to keep it, what are your options? These are big enough to just um, put them into your collection. The smaller ones, you know, a bit smaller pieces, you could decide if you're doing a scrap system, you could decide to cut them for the scrap system, like cut them into two and a half inch squares, or like I usually use, or strips, cut the strips, or um, maybe you cut them into five inch squares so they'd be like a charm pack size. Uh, though that was what I would do. I don't know of any other option for you. There'd be no reason to keep them together. The quilt is done. They don't need to stay together anymore. They need to go back where you are, when you're searching for something. If you're searching for pink, you will now find this pink versus it being with the project bag where you wouldn't have used it because you don't want to use it up. Uh, you know, so there you go. That is how. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that was helpful. Tell me if that was helpful uh, because I think in a certain way and I've been doing this a really long time with projects. Uh, so I kind of have a process that I've fine tuned uh, and I'm not, don't have a problem at all moving fabric over to people, rehoming my fabric to somebody who can use it when I know I won't because I am not going back and using older fabric. And I really don't have an interest in using it. It's even, even this stack here will probably slim down some. There's probably several in here. I'll be just like, okay. I've used it and it's not my favorite from that collection. Like that's the other thing. It's like, like one of them in here. I think it's useful. It's useful, but it's not my favorite design. It's not my favorite. I have a lot of gray. I have enough gray. So, you know, I might just be like, eh, you know, but like this gray, I like this one a lot. I like that design on it. So I probably will keep that one and maybe send this one off, you know, like, like slim it down to maybe half of what's there. What, what do I really like from there? All right. <laughs> So today is Friday the 13th. So it's a lucky, lucky day because you can go out and enter for the koala chair. Uh, the link is down below and at my website today over at the koala studios website. That's the chair that I use. And I know a lot of you have it and you love it. It goes up and down. It's awesome. So <laughs> thank you for being here. I love you. Thank you for being in the Sloan zone. I will see you online.